example of what's called atmospheric perspective. It's also an example of what we would call a 19th century landscape painting. But atmospheric perspective is basically this. It is, as you can see, out into the distance, there's less detail, which makes things look far away. Conversely, the foreground in this painting has more color and more detail. You can see even a herd of cattle on the side of the hill. Uh, and this is from a location uh, near San Francisco. It's on the west coast. It's a painting by a man named Albert Beardstadt, and it's from uh, 1873. Uh, but it is a great example of the contrast between the detail in the foreground and then the less detail and less color creating this atmospheric perspective, this sense of distance. does that mean, a linear painting? Well, this particular painting is by a man named Walter Schofield, and what it means is that Mr. Schofield walked out to the beach, right to the edge of the sea, and he saw the horizon, and he set up his easel outside, and he painted exactly what he observed on the spot, right there on location. That's basically what plein air is, is painting on location. Uh, and in the end, we have this uh, seascape and you can see when you look at the details of it you can see the brush strokes and then when you step back away from it it blends together so this is one of my favorite paintings in the collection and it's uh, entitled autumn in the catskills it's by a man named Sanford Gifford, and the Catskills are referring to the mountains in New York State near the Hudson River. In fact, this painting is what is from a school art historians call the Hudson River School of Painting, which was founded by a man that Mr. Gifford uh, was influenced by named Thomas Cole. Thomas Cole believed in going out into the wilderness and capturing the wildness of the land. And that's exactly what Sanford Gifford is trying to do here. He's on the edge of this cliff looking out across this vista and painting uh, this scene from the fall. Uh, again, it has the, the contrast between the, the detail of the foreground and the atmospheric perspective that is less detail and less contrast uh, in the background. But it's a, it's a wonderful painting to look at. Uh, it's one of those paintings that uh, you really need to see it in person to understand how powerful it is. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're the first to know about all the exciting things happening at the Nashville Parthenon.